What's going on guys? We have some uh, pretty good news, I guess you could say. We have one of the very first cars we have ever wrapped here at Inchain Designs coming in for a removal. And I don't know if you guys remember, but we did a uh, Dodge Viper. It was a 2006 Dodge Viper Black Mamba edition. I believe it was like 175 out of 200. So uh, it's actually on its way. It's probably right around the corner by now. But super excited. We'll go over and review the car um, and show, you know, I guess how the wrap handles after about, shoot, when do we, I don't even know, like five years. I think it's been, you know, three years. Three years. Um, we'll definitely show you what it, how it holds up and what it looks like. So we're pretty excited to get it in here. It's going to be a mother to remove it because we took that car completely apart and the side rockers are an absolute beach. So not too excited about that, but definitely excited to see what it looks like. I'm uh, excited to see how it looks after a good, nice wear and tear for a few years. Actually, it's the car that Andy did the exhaust. Um, yeah, Diablo Formula Racing did the exhaust like here. five years ago. Yep. So this is a good time, you can honestly hear it. Come on, dude. Listen to that thing. Yeah, if you want to hear <laughs> he doesn't want to hear that. <laughs> oh man, this thing was. Uh, there's songs to this day when they come on the radio. I like cringe because I was rapping this thing back in the garage and just heard those songs like constantly. The radio plays the same songs. Oh, I just remember some of them. It just makes me cringe when I'm rapping. But that's what you get. It's not bad when the top's down. Nah, the nah, top's up. Yeah, the top's oh, up. Yeah. Can't even like hear the radio. Nice man. That's all you brought. Is that your H2 out there too? I haven't let anybody know that what we're getting for the new shop truck, so this is the guy that, Secret safe with me. Yeah, if you want to know anything about Hummers, this is the guy. Thirty-seven now. No, no, that's me. And it's got their their carbon fiber too, so yeah. This is satin for all here and the car is still in. So that's like the little bit of material we have left from this car. That's like the only left in the, in the nation pretty much, but you just continue to tell it. It's all dusty. It's been sitting in the showroom for... It's, uh, I'm assuming I left the... You know, like this stuff on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll be back there. I totally forgot we did that. Oh, man. I'll let you know. We'll get, like I said, that'll probably be the last thing we do. Everything else will come kind of But this one, we just wrapped this one, so. Okay. Yeah, when you removed it. But you'd have to pull the whole emblem off, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll still have to pull that off. We'll just have that one wrapped. Oh, oh, cool when you take, look, are you able to take it off with it wrapped? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I might get one. Like All right. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's exciting to have it back down. Mm -hmm. Just we're gonna really do a, do a video review on how it held up for three years. Well, it actually looks you know, really good. Yeah. Which I wasn't like expecting it to look like crap. But, 
Yeah. All right. Now the fun begins. Do you drive this? Is this your daily in the winter? Yeah. I have an XLR. See, you just know. Yeah. Seriously. All right, so here we have the 2006 Black Mambo Dodge Viper. I'm gonna go over it and check out, you know, how the install held up. It's been about three years, so definitely want to go over and show you some of the areas that you know it held up actually pretty well. So I wanted to show some close-ups. Now, obviously, I think this car owner. Didn't put a ton of miles on, just because it's a uh, Black Mamba edition, so it's pretty rare. But he definitely has some wear and tear on it. There's some stone chips. But for the most part, everything looks damn good. I remember this one because I actually had to manipulate this whole piece inside here, which there's like a, I'd say, half inch, three quarter inch gap of recess. Getting all through all these little crevices sucked. Here's the natural color, so it's a silver. And we manipulated it with Satin Pearl Nero, which is now a color that you cannot get anymore because it was a Giovanni Wheel Edition. Special launch for this color. I think Avery partnered up with Giovanni Wheels and they released like five or six colors. And it only lasted, I think, about a year. So now you can't even get this color anymore. I think KPMF also, uh, just launched a color like it because the rap community was, was definitely asking for it. It is a cool color and has a really gorgeous metal flake in it, which you can't really tell. But... Yeah, man, we did the door jams, side mirrors, door handles, the whole nine. Everything looks good. Sucks that we have to remove it all, though. It's hard to believe this is like the first supercar we've wrapped. I mean, I guess it's not a supercar, but... Arguably, yeah. Yeah. This is like one of the first, besides mine, besides my Mustang over here. This car was the first one. So yeah, let's get started. It's going to be sad taking this off. But the owner is tired of this color. He's getting bored with it, so we're going to go back to factory. So let's get into it.